This is my website, and this one is home page. At the top, this is hamburger menu, and this is logo, and this is looks like a menu, uh, the email and telephone. This is background and the mission. In my code, uh, we can see this is home page. Uh, for the logo, this one. When we click the logo, we can go to the home page, the index HTML. Every page have their uh, logo, and they can do the uh, same function. And also, every page have their own hamburger menu. Uh, when we choose the a different choice, we will go to the certain page. And also, in my ah. Uh, uh, home page. Uh, at the beginning, I put the I put uh, the mission and uh, in here, and also in in back back the mission. I use a background picture to make the uh, more uh, beautiful. And in here, this is my mission. Yes. And uh, when we go down, we can see the picture. When I put the mouse in here, the picture will Become blur because I use a transition uh, in, in in the picture like uh, uh, this one uh, the image I tr I I use a transition to change the image hover in here like one second when we put the mouse in here and also for the home page I make the responsive for the home page when we like it. Uh, Smaller this home page, this page will uh change to the other structure. But all of the content we can uh also clearly see that, and we can back to the uh, regular size. And uh, the other things is like when we go down this, this is text, and I uh use the animation and for the picture I use gallery and also use the animation in here you can see I I put the gallery in here for, for the picture and the, the other things I I use some gallery uh, the animation for the for the picture and for the text I also use like the pop the like animation and it makes the uh, uh, text looks like uh, more interesting and uh, when we go to the next page the next page in here we can see this is animation for the text and also this one is a slide we can see in here this is my this is my slide I just use that to uh, make uh, the picture more interesting and uh, and this is the like sliding uh, animation for uh, the text just now as we can see and for the uh, third page the third page I put a video and this is the video caption and when we go down this is the two classable I use two classable in here uh, when we back to the uh, the code we can see uh, this is the video and this is a uh, video caption it looks like an introduction and also I use two uh, classable for for the for the uh, for my content because um, this because this web this page is, has a, a lot of uh, image and text so I use two classable make my um, page more concise and uh, when we go to the last page the last page we can see at the uh, top uh, have one slideshow and uh, this slideshow can uh, uh, alternatively uh, change the picture and also we can um, click the pointer to change the picture and uh, this is can also change the picture and uh, in the code I just use a, a GS function to achieve that and uh, also I use like uh, the some 
uh, other uh, the structure like su super slide the GS uh, to make that and and uh, also uh, for this page I have a table a table is uh, uh, to introduce to the uh, design element and I also give my table a background picture make make the table uh, looks uh, cool and uh, the other things I I put the gallery to my table and because I want to make it, uh, when I click the picture I can become, become the picture more bigger this is uh, can help the audience more easily to see the picture and we go down this is three main products and I use the gallery and uh, use a transition for the text makes this one is more interesting like in here like in, in, in here I use the class going here and uh, this is uh, the uh, and this is uh, the uh, the word and the transition in here and uh, this is all of things for my website when we finish this website uh, one thing I think is very interesting that is classable because I use a lot of classable in here and in and in, in here uh, the classical can make my page more concise and also because if we do not open that we don't know uh, in the classical how what is what content in here so it's like a surprise things for the audience I think and the other things uh, is uh, responsive I think the responsive a little bit difficult for me because as we can see uh, in the different page have the different content and we need to carefully to uh, deal, deal each other because different devices like uh, phone, computer have different resolutions so we need to carefully do that all those things we, we need to uh, do that so sometime um, maybe we will miss something here so I think that is a little bit difficult for me and the other things like I think animation is more interesting things because it can easily attract my attention at, at, at once so I, I try to use a lot of animation in my uh, website this is all of my presentation uh, thanks for my professor give me some otherwise make my uh, website uh, um, become better and better.